Deborah, as you see, I am a brunette and I am relearning how to do makeup on a brunette. And uh, it's a it's a big challenge. <laughs> All right, so let me give you a recap of what's been going on in my life. Um, first thing is, when I tell people I'm psychic, I now have proof that I am, okay? And that is about a month ago, before the coronavirus, I did a video saying, stay off the cruise ships. I said, it is a cesspool of germs. And if you're on an airplane, please wear the mask. And uh, and then of course, that big virus is now in the news and I think it's gonna get worse, but whatever. I get these feelings and I have to act on them. And sometimes you're saying, well, why are you doing a video about that? Well, that's because something is telling me to do it. So um, I'm getting a lot of feedback about uh, my ex-husband, okay? He is my ex-husband. I went through hell, and I do mean hell, uh, getting a divorce from him. It took seven years. It's now, I guess it was 2013 when it was final. It's now 2020. It's taken him seven years to uh, adhere to the divorce decree. It, it makes me always kind of like on edge to know that somebody hasn't done what they're supposed to have done. You know, if I have a to-do list and I give somebody my word that I'm going to do it, God dang it, I do it. I may take a little time, but it I do keep my word. All right. So a lot of people are saying, well, why are you even talking to him? Well, we have two grown children together. Sometimes they don't always act like a grown up. So we do have to talk once in a while about that. We have two grandchildren together. So that is when we do talk to each other. And out of the blue, he offered to help me with my disability by getting me a car. And I signed over my car title to him. Now, I do not have to, uh, what is the word? I have to pick a good word. I do not have to tickle his fancy, if you know what I mean. I don't have to do that, nor would I. Um, yes, and I will always love him. I gave this man 42 years of my life. I will love him. And, uh... And let me tell you what, when you're in your 30s, or actually when you're a teenager, all the way up to you're about my age, I will be 65 this coming week, you start looking through life through a different lens. You're, you know, you're coming to the end of your life and you start seeing things much differently. I am seeing things now that I didn't sh see four years ago, you know. So... Uh, there's no reason why I can't be friends with my ex-husband, but, uh, that's as far as it's going, you know? So some of you said, well, I just, I don't like your channel now because now you're not, you know, venting about your divorce and stuff. Well, that is your prerogative. You don't have to watch me. But I will tell you, when you're coming to the end of your life, you start looking at things very differently. And um, in order to get on with my life, I had to forgive because resentment and anger and revenge will eat you alive. I actually had a conversation with him last night that lasted a while and I could tell that he's still living in the past and that he he's still having really bad negative thoughts and I could feel the anger rising in his voice and it, it kind of broke my heart because you cannot live in the past because you can't enjoy today so uh and I had to tell him to take a deep breath and to and to calm down because I was worried about him because, you know, he just had an operation last week. But he is doing great with that. 
uh, very, he's doing very well uh, with that. So uh, now I, on the other hand, I have, let's see, I think four doctor's appointments from four different surgeons um, coming up. And my FMLA was not approved because I did not meet the 1,250 hours. But it wouldn't make no difference anyway because it just holds my position. I don't get sick leave or annual leave because I'm already disabled. So now I may have to go through a different route and just... Um, I'm going to go talk to my manager today and see what she can do for me. So if you like my hair, let, leave me a comment. Um... This is why I did it. A lot of you are saying, what got into you? Well, the blonde, when I would do the roots, it kept breaking off if I brought the bleach down from the roots a little bit more. So I was having like two different lengths of hair. So I was looking at pictures of me as a brunette uh, when I lived at the broccoli farm. And my, my hair was glossy, healthy, beautiful, no... I did lose a lot of my hair during the divorce because the beige carpet turned dark brown. That's how much stress I was under. But like I said, I asked God to remove those terrible thoughts. It would have been so easy. I know I'm getting back off the subject. So easy to seek revenge or to be bitter and resent, uh, resentful. But I'm not that kind of person. Some people say I'm too nice. I do forgive too easy because, oh my God, you blink your eye and you are old. Yes, I said the word old. So, uh, yeah, back to why I dyed my hair brown. I saw the, the sun bouncing and glistening off my brown hair and I go, oh my God, this is beautiful. And it was healthy. My hair was down to here, you know, and I said, you know what? I would have never achieved that length with I kept bleaching my hair you know and I thought it was you know the maintenance would e be easier but now they're making uh the powder and the touch-up roots so that you can go a little longer without um what is that word um bothering the rest of your hair so so I got about 10 days where I can get my house straight before all my operations and I'm going to use it to my ability. In the meantime, I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. I don't. Uh, so in case you all don't, didn't watch me, I do have, they found two bulging discs in my back, which hurts worse than anything. They found a torn ligament. I have fluid on my left hip and it's bone on bone. And then they found a mass in my pelvic area. Oh my God. I don't even know what could be down there because everything's been taken out, but it's very distressing. So I can't wait to hear all these, what the doctors want to do with me. I am I know one thing, I can't go another month with my back the way it is. So I've already been fused on L4, 5, and 6. So they found L1 and 2 is just bulging. You know, it's so easy for me just to want to give up. I just want, sometimes I just get tired. But I look at other people and I go, you know, I'm still blessed. I am. I still am blessed. My granddaughter's birthday was wonderful. Everybody just loves her. Um, my grandson, I believe, is on going to, I think, tomorrow, drive to Florida for the first time. He will be 18 in another two months. I have to pray about that one. Yes, I have to pray about that one. All right. Bye, everyone.